In this lesson we're going to look at importing line art illustrations and sketches into Tinkercad. While a lot of applications such as Fusion 360 and Onshape have sketches built in, Tinkercad you have to develop your sketches in a different application and then import it. And there is a maximum of 25k and it doesn't really handle very complex SVGs, but it is pretty useful and as we'll see you can also import bitmaps. So first you're going to want to create an SVG file and there's a free application called Inkscape which is pretty powerful allows you to do simple illustrations all the way up to pretty complex ones and uh, when you export it just make sure that you convert your objects to paths because otherwise it'll not import into Tinkercad. I use also an application called Sketch and here I've got a simple star and that's a really cut down nice little application quite lightweight allows you to do lots of things. And again, if you create any text or any objects, just make sure that when you export, you're, you're converting to outlines because otherwise I'm not importing. So remember we need to export as a SVG, then we can export and then we can import into our Tinkercad. So the first thing we can do is just a straight import and we can, let's have a look at the plain star, just choose the defaults and it'll import huge but it's imported and it's got some depth there. Let's do that again, but actually look at some of the settings. So import, scale 100, so let's do 25. And then it's an object that we can do what we like with it. So remember in the previous lesson, it's a, now a object just like any Tinkercad object. What else can we do? Well, we did briefly look at text and we saw that it was quite limited what it could do in Tinkercad. So you can create your text outside in a illustration package and then you can use whatever font you've got on your machine. So that's a lot better for branding. And again, it's an object that we can manipulate and do all kinds of things with. There is though, a Revolve SVG shape generator. So what this does is it'll take whatever you import and it'll revolve it. So instead of having to do a command D or control D. So let's use a star again. It's now revolved our star. So that's good for giving definition and having a full control over what shape and obviously you've got some controls here for how much and how little you want to revolve and how big you want it to be.
SVGs aren't the only images you can import. It does have some basic ability to do bitmaps. So we've got this shape generator here, which is for images. And I'm gonna use a better color so we can actually see what we're doing here. And I'll resize it. And what this allows us to do is import and then emboss or engrave. So I'll choose a picture that's got low contrast and as you can see it's not very visible what it is but if I choose one that's got more contrast it is a lot more visible and you can set the smoothness so it's got higher contrast or lower contrast and you can set whether it's embossed or raised. It takes a while sometimes for it to catch up to your settings so you might have to do things once or twice. So let's load my logo into here. So you can see that the black areas and the white areas are separated and that's how you get the definition. And of course you can use the other shapes along with it. So if I want to cut this, I could just separate it to just the raised areas and then I've got my new shape. So that's a quick look through the image abilities of Tinkercad and it just stretches your available functions and features outside of just what's included and in creating a shape generator. You can use your external illustration package and really go to town. Just finally I'll just import a more complex SVG. Now you can imagine using this to create a plaque or some sort of prize. So, but remember what you can do is you can convert that into a hole. You can create the shape that you want it to go onto and then you can actually cut out the shape. There you see, we've got the full ability of it being a Tinkercad shape once it's imported. So there's a lot more you can do with it than you might think at first.